The title of the book is Racing to Justice, and I use that title advisedly. What, what do we mean by racing? We normally think of race uh, as an adjective or a noun describing someone. And I'm saying it's really a verb. It's something, it's a practice. It's a set of practices that we do as society that then constitute who we become as an individual or a country. So in that sense, saying you're not noticing someone's race is almost irrelevant. The question is, what are we doing? What are we doing as a society to produce or reproduce or interrupt certain racial practices? We have come to the conclusion, certainly among scholars and not just scholars, the Supreme Court, the race is socially constructed, that it's a constructed thing, which means there's some activity that actually creates race. I argue in the book and suggest that whiteness, as we understand it today, is really a relatively new concept, a relatively new practice. It really came out of the New Deal. The New Deal actually created a new meaning, structure, practice of whites. Before the New Deal, people would be Polish-American, Irish-American, German-American. Those terms, those salient terms were traded in in favor of whites, not just at a conceptual level, but at a practical level. The practice was you move to the suburbs, you become white. You're no longer Polish-American. You're not living in Pole Town anymore. You're living in the suburbs. And it changed everything. And so if race is socially constructed, the question becomes, what are we doing now to construct race? Uh, how are we constructing race? It also means that race is not stable. Because it's a verb, because it's an action, it means it's constantly shifting. So the idea of post-racial doesn't make sense unless we can look very carefully at our actions, at our practice, and the outcomes to see where they're taking us. And so racing to justice suggests that if we want to go to justice, if we want to have a just society, we have to look at our practice in some sophisticated ways, outcomes, not just intent, structures and systems, and all the stuff we're finding about the mind science.